<laughs> Hi there. My name's Honey. I'm a friend of Pocahontas. Oh, <laughs> that's right. You don't know her yet, but you will soon. You'll like her. She's a sweet and beautiful Indian princess who just loves to play and have fun. <laughs> Things were always simple for her until one day strangers came and her life was changed forever after. April 15, in the year of our Lord, 1607. Still no sign of the new world. I so look forward to chatting and getting along famously with the locals. Squint, what are you shooting at? It's a bird, Captain Smith! A bird off the fort bow! <coughs> Why are you shooting at it? Is it rabid? No, just getting in some target practice before we meet the savages. It's over here, mates! Fire! Oh, squint! There'll be no more of that! You know I'm a bird lover. And we're going to live peacefully with the Indians when we arrive. First mice don't get to have any fun. Wait a minute. A bird? We must be near land. Land help! Everything looks beautiful in my world. Birds sing, the sky is blue. Everything I know is true. The village life goes on in my world. We live the old Pohatten way. Father lets me ride and play. But when I look across the ocean wide, sometimes I wonder if there is another side to my world. My world. Everything looks beautiful in my world. Waterfalls, the sky is clear. Everything I know is near. It's Medicine man, they said this is for you. What do you think? It's pretty. Pretty? It's supposed to be scary! Why? So I can scare away our enemies. <laughs> what kind of enemies? All kinds! I'm an equal opportunity medicine man. The world is full of nasty, evil spirits just waiting to wipe out our tribe. They're everywhere, in the trees, the ground, and especially in strangers. <gasps> Whoa, you sure look scary now. Thanks for warning me about the evil spirits. Be careful. They're everywhere. And it's a good thing, too, or I'd be out of a job. Evil spirits. Everywhere? Gee, this tree doesn't look like it has evil in it. Or you either, Mr. Cardinal. Oh, this is very confusing. Possum, Opie. It, it's me, Chitter. Can I see some identification, please? It's me, you furry doorstop. <laughs> oh, why didn't you say so? What you doing? Grocery shopping. Hey, do you hear footsteps? <laughs> hey, it's Pocahontas. Didn't you hear me? 
don't talk to me. I'm playing dead, remember? I said it's Pocahontas, you silly pseudo stiff. It is? Oh, boy! Hey, why the long snout? Yeah, is something bothering you? Do you think evil is everywhere? Uh, here comes some evil now! Where? Where? Oh. <laughs> He's so easy. Um, let's you and me go talk about your problem. Can you help me? Who, me? <laughs> I haven't got a clue, but I know who does. doing, honey? Making my favorite warm weather cooler, a honeycomb julep. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Honey feels better now. Care for a sip? Polka, honey? Oh, there might be evil spirits in that. Now, who put that idea in your head? The medicine man. He's old and wise and knows everything. He's an old fool, if you ask me. Why, he doesn't even believe you can talk to us animals. <laughs> the world is full of good spirits. Flowers, butterflies, blue skies. Apples, berries, acorns. <laughs> and of course, honey. How could such wonderful things be evil? <laughs> I think there's room for one more. But what about spiders and, and snakes and bats? Aren't they evil? Child, those aren't evil. They're creepy. There's a difference. If you ask me, there are lots of things to be afraid of. That's why possums play dead. Oh, here comes something scary now! Where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I love making him do that. <laughs> Pay him no mind. There's a whole world of great things to discover. Are. Waiting to ambush us, I wager. Don't worry, they'll be full of portholes if I see them. We didn't come here to shoot anyone. We're here to establish a peaceful colony. Well, uh, doesn't that mean driving them out and, and stealing their land and breaking treaties and fun stuff like that? No, oh, don't quibble, you squinting simpleton. I want you to write, I won't shoot the natives in the sand 100 times. We'll build our town over there. We'll name it Jamestown, after our beloved king. Strangers invading our land. Poor Horton must know. And they've come in a big canoe with giant skins that catch the wind. Bigger than my canoe? Tell me more about the strangers. Well, uh, they wear fancy clothing and... Fancier than my clothing? Fancier? Uh, no, no. Uh, but they have big moccasins that go up their legs and robes with shiny decorations and nice headdresses and... Uh, okay, they are fancier. I'm sorry. What do you think of these strangers? Uh, well, I noticed they had pale faces with hair growing on them. Very scary looking. Scarier than me? Uh, I'd have to say so, yes. Are you gonna let them get away with us? What is your advice, medicine man? Let me consult the spirits. <laughs> the spirits have spoken! We should fear the strangers! But why? They haven't done anything bad. They're not like us. 
We should always be afraid of things that are different. But you're different, and we're not afraid of you. You're not? Well, uh, I'll fix that. Oh, scary! Mm. The medicine man speaks the truth. We know nothing of these invaders. We must shun them until we've driven them from our land. I don't understand, my father. I'm not afraid of the strangers. I am. They sound scary. Well, not to me. I want to meet them. We could be friends. What are you shooting at this time? The biggest rat I ever laid eyes on. Or maybe it was a cat, I don't know. It kept dying and coming back to life. You know I'm a cat lover. How could you? I want you to carve 100 times. I will not shoot at cats. <laughs> Are there any animals he doesn't love? See? It isn't so scary being a stranger. The strangers are coming! The strangers are coming! <laughs> the strangers are here! No, it's me, Opie. Yeah, would you get a grip? What are you so scared about? I've seen one of the, the strangers. You have? I sure wish I could meet one. Oh, no, you don't. It was so horrible, I was too scared to play dead. It had white skin and hair all over its face and a magic stick. What kind of magic stick? Well, like this. It spit fire at me. It was so scary. Really scary. I feel another dying spell coming on. Oh, wow. I'd like to meet a stranger now more than ever. If only my father would let me. Hey, he didn't say you couldn't look at them from a distance, right? Let's go look. Doesn't anybody ever listen to me? Oh. That must be their village. comes one of them riding a big animal. Strangers were not evil. I don't understand why my tribe is so afraid. Me either, child. Some people just aren't happy unless there's something to worry about. Do you think that strangers are evil? <laughs> of course not, Polka, honey. You know, you humans could learn a thing or two from us animals. What do you mean? Look around. Just because we're different doesn't mean we can't get along. Take us bears. We come in all sorts of colors. Brown, black, black and white. Why, I even have an aunt up north who's solid white. <laughs> Good old Antarctica. Yeah, uh, lots of things are different colors. Uh, trees, flowers, rainbows. Just think how dull life would be if everything looked the same. Gee, you're right. Squint, here you are. What are you doing so far from the settlement? I found this grove of easy trees. Easy trees? No branches, no leaves, no mess. <laughs> easy trees. You squinty-eyed twit. These look like some sort of Indian property markers. Totem poles, I think they call them. Look like trees to me. But no matter, they were bound to come down sooner or later, eh? Yeah. There we are. More wood for the fire. Why, I can smell it burning already. 
If we survive this, Squint, remind me to assign you to a new post on the ship. What post would that be? The anchor. <laughs> This is an unfortunate introduction. How do you suppose we'll make the best of this? Don't worry, Captain. I have a plan. We'll blast our way out. How? They took my firearm, and I took yours. Not this one. Or this one. Or this one either. <laughs> Squint. Perhaps I haven't made myself clear. Don't shoot anything! You have invaded our land and destroyed our totems. Why? Uh, I'm John Smith, our ki um, chief. Chief James sent us from far across the ocean to establish a village here. We're not invaders. We, we hope to live peacefully with you. Your words are right. Your deeds are wrong. Sorry, mate. It was a, an accident, really. Then you are not bad? No, I assure you. Don't trust them! This is a spiritual matter. Only I can determine if they are good or evil. What is their spirit? Good or evil? They are evil! They are white like ghosts, and ghosts are always evil! But lots of good things are white, like flowers and snow and the stars in the sky. But honest, you are young, you know nothing! I am old and have headdresses and great outfits and magic dust! I know everything! <laughs> The strangers are evil, and they must be dealt with accordingly. <gasps> I saw this man in the forest today. There was a wounded bird nearby. If he stooped to save this tiny creature, why not you and I? This man looks different. Are you sure you want to save this stranger named Smith? Yes. He has a kind, beautiful spirit. Hey, what about me? I've got a kind, beautiful spirit. Very well. The strangers are spared. But they must never leave our village. I'll get you, pretty Pocahontas, and your little friends, too. I do hope the captain and the first mate return soon. I have prepared the gourmet feast of native foods. Roasted oak bark, sautéed ground slugs, pickled pine cones, and for dessert, ooh la la, cotton cake. Oh, I knew I should have traveled with the pilgrims. Hey, 
I think I'll go mingle with the natives. This is where we are. This is the ocean, and way over here is jolly old England. You mean this piece of paper showed you how to find us across the endless river? Yes. Well, with the help of this, it's a, a magic direction finder. No matter which way you go, it always points north. It must have taken you many days to get here. Oh, yes, yes. Three months, 14 days, and uh, 41 minutes, to be exact. It's a timepiece. It tells when the sun rises and sets. Here, you may have it. Thank you. I will always treasure it. There's a person in it. Oh, that's our uh, chief, King James. He's awfully small. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, it's an image of him, a picture. Tell me about your chief and your people. Oh, England is a wonderful country. Our king lives in a big palace. Palace? Yes, it's a big, big wigwam made of stone. The king is a very wealthy ruler. He has royal jewels and lots of robes and crowns. He rides around greeting his people in a royal carriage. And England is filled with beautiful cathedrals where we worship our great spirit in big wigwams that reach to the sky. They are filled with candles, uh, small fire sticks, and beautiful music from pipe organs, uh, big wind machines that make sounds from the pipes on the walls. Maybe someday I can visit and make friends with your people. Splendid idea. If only Chief Poe Hutton would let me return to my settlement, I could arrange it. He might want to go along too and visit my king. See, the strangers aren't so bad. Do you like Pocahontas? Call me Mr. Negative, but I still think something bad's going to happen. I just know it. I'd better go practice playing dead. I think I'm going to need it. Could that first mate of mine be? The prisoners have escaped. They must have gone back to their village to bring warriors, to conquer our tribe. That's not true. The one called Smith wants to take us to his country to meet his chief. That's why he went back to his village. Oh, Smith has fooled her. Big surprise. She even thinks she can talk to animals. But I can. You are young and gullible. But I am old. Well, middle-aged and jaded and can't be easily fooled. We must prepare for war. Mm. Here we are, Captain. Safe and sound. Nice rescue, eh? What did you do with me like that for? I was just getting on famously with the Poe Huttons. They'll think I've escaped and fear the worst. I'll have to make peace with them all over again. I know. We'll visit them bearing gifts. That ought to appease the chief and that touchy old medicine man of theirs. We can't take the chance. Poe Hutton would believe his daughter. The strangers are evil. We must stop them. I want you brave to hide along the trail. When the strangers approach our village again, ambush them. Oh, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Trouble. We have to tell Pocahontas. They said they're going to do something so awful. I thought I was going to drop dead any minute. The only evil around here is in that medicine man. I'm going to tell my father. He'll stop this. Oh! <gasps> 
Strangers for the medicine man. I'm on the warpath and I have a plan. Where is my magic powder? The drums in my head grow louder and louder. I am an artist with the paint. And this honey sticks so good. I will scare them till they faint. Why, I could do makeup in Hollywood. With rattling bones and feathers on my arms. I have all the powers of the Indian charms. This medicine is strong beyond belief. Why, the village might even make me cheap. Oh, gosh, that would be so great. <laughs> my career is going to take off now. to you. <laughs> just one second, girl. This honey's just begging to be eaten. <laughs> oh, all right. Now, what's this all about? We have to hurry before Captain Smith gets hurt. Uh, you go on without me. I'll catch up. No, I need you now. Huh. Nice camouflage. Well, I'm dressed for success. It's all up to us. You know what to do. Oh, will you stop that? Everybody, to their posts. Pocahontas. Beautiful day for a ride in the woods, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm glad you've returned. My father will be very pleased. Climb aboard. We have gifts for him. These are gold, Chief Pohatan. The most precious of metals and worthy only of kings. This robe is purple, our royal color, worn only by kings. And this is a crown, a headdress worn by our king. D don't trust him, Bohutton. He's evil. It is you who are evil, Medicine Man. I have heard of your plan. 
Uh, who, me? <laughs> uh, I have no plan. Wrong. You have travel plans. Leave the tribe. You look like a plucked turkey and stink like a skunk. <laughs> you have deceived me. No, no. We always fire our magic sticks to honor great leaders. Hmm. You may continue honoring me. And your daughter as well. Why, thank you. Strangers for the medicine man. I'm on the warpath and I have a plan. Where is my magic powder? The drums in my head grow louder and louder. I am an artist with the paint. And this honey sticks so good. I will scare them till they faint. Why, I could do makeup in Hollywood. With rattling bones and feathers on my arms, I have all the powers of the Indian charms. This medicine is strong beyond belief. Why, the village might even make me cheap. Oh, gosh, that would be so cool. 